Hi, I'm Joe from Zen Genius. Today I'm going to talk about some of the basics of visual merchandising. Just like in the art world, there are basic sets of principles and guidelines that help you to create your project. Principles of vertical and horizontal merchandising, creating focal points and symmetry within your store, um, using balance, consistency, repetition, telling stories, using color, and also adding unexpected details and props to make your shopping experience more exciting. One of the first is vertical merchandising. This is a very easy rule. Basically, you're merchandising the product from top to bottom in vertical rows. You can also apply this rule when you're merchandising fashion apparel, as you can see here with the vertical rows of sweaters. The other basic principle is horizontal merchandising. This is when you merchandise across from left to right, as seen here where the colors are merchandised horizontally. This principle also applies to stationary or other hardline products we're using color to create maximum impact. Pyramiding is also a very important rule. Creating a pyramid allows your eye to focus in on the product or the intention of your display. Pyramiding helps you to build a focal point in the middle and bring the viewer's eye down to the sides. It applies to many rules, small vignettes with accessories, a book display or a feature table display. Here you can also see how pyramiding applies to the table, the banners, and the fixtures around your entire statement. Another basic of merchandising is getting more product out on the sales floor. Stacking merchandise is a great way to get more product out. Here you can see glass shelves help to get more product out in a crate and barrel display. Symmetry and balance are also an important rule when it comes to merchandising a store. Symmetry and balance help your consumer to get comfortable within your space. Again, not always do the rules of symmetry and balance apply. Sometimes you want to be asymmetrical. Um, but in this example, here you can see everything works together to create a nice balanced symmetrical statement from where the mannequins are placed in the front into the feature walls and to where the gr graphics are balanced with the product. Another basic principle is consistency and repetition. Consistency is creating one display and then repeating it. This allows the eye a chance to read everything in a short amount of time. It also keeps your wall more exciting. When you're in a hospital and you hear that sound, beep, you know you're dead. Visual is the same way. We want to create that interesting pattern when the eye looks at the wall. This is also another great example where you can see where all of the basic guidelines and principles work together. You can see vertical merchandising, horizontal merchandising, pyramids, consistency, and repetition all in one great merchandise display. Another great key to visual merchandising is storytelling and cross-merchandising. This is when you bring different products together to tell a complete story. It often will influence a person's lifestyle. The idea is to sell more than one product and to increase the average dollar per transaction. Here you can see a great example with books merchandised with pottery and plants. A beautiful story. Color is a great way to get impact and excitement into your store. It's understanding the colors of your assortment or the product that you want to display and figuring out the colorization that gives you the maximum impact for that presentation. From merchandising M&Ms in a beautiful color or to merchandising products. Here you can see the product is vertically merchandised by color and horizontally merchandised by style. Propping is a great way to bring excitement and energy to your visual display. Here you can see this basket and bicycle make the perfect prop for this sourdough statement in San Francisco. Here you can see surfboards are also a great prop for this surf shop. Overhead visual excitement, props are a great addition to the store. Sometimes visual is about focusing on one great prop or one great item, featuring one great product that you really believe in. Steve Jobs knows the secret of that. Here you can see a beautiful display with Ralph Lauren. The backdrop, the props, the lighting all help you to focus on that one beautiful outfit. Here you can see also a, a beautiful statement with the mannequin and the propping and the details help to make this story complete. 
Another great merchandising principle is working with the power of three. One, two, three. Giving the eye three focal points to rest on. Crate and Barrel is great at this technique when you see that they have small different vignettes, each repeated in three. Here are a few examples of threes. Here's another example with candles. Imagine if each of these three displays was different, how much longer it would take for your eye to register. Creating the same display three times allows the eye to read faster. Graphics are also an important principle to great visual merchandising. Using graphics to accentuate your shop, add excitement, educate, and inform your customer. Look at every wall in your store to figure out where to add great graphics, whether it's a wall decal or bringing graphics into the actual product, the display. Here you can see graphics can be applied to almost any material. Your fabric pillows, wallpaper, a wall background, the lampshade. Technology is also entering into the retail world and you're seeing more and more LED TVs, flat scrans, and other types of technology to make the store exciting. Even in the Barbie store, customers are invited to come in and design their own Barbie as a part of the store experience. Graphics come in all shapes and sizes, as you can see here by the M&M store in Times Square. Before you start to merchandise, it's also important to understand your assortment and understand your sales goals. So, organize first. See what your assortment is. Plan ahead. Understand what is the best way to merchandise that product. Also, try to understand what your key items are so that you can focus on merchandising the most important products so that your consumers find those. I always like to test the displays and the merchandising that we've set up to make sure that the consumer is shopping it the way we've intended. And then analyze. I always look at the numbers and the sales so that I know that I'm merchandising the proper items and that the items are moving as well as we had anticipated. Merchandising is also about understanding the space planning, the floor plans, the traffic flow, the adjacencies, and the planograms that help to tell your associates how to set up the store and maintain it. Thanks for watching Zen Genius Tutorials. For more information, visit us on our website at www.zengenius.com.